there are moments in every book I've ever written that shock me that I was that naked, that I was that like, like that I was that honest. Exactly. What's your favorite chapter in the book? Um, one of the most heartfelt chapters for me was the last time that I saw Prince, mm-hmm. and um, and uh, we did a show for him at Paisley Park, and uh, he just insisted that we were there. Now, um, you know, it, it, a lot of times these these sites that you know Prince's uh, Red Velvet or whatever these they get mad at me because I tell the truth about him. So you know he had. Uh, had me come out to do shows before, and he's the kind of brother, he'd be like, uh, you know what, I changed my mind, send the time home. Like, dude, I just spent like five grand on tickets to get my guys out here, yeah, can I get a reimbursement? He wouldn't even talk to me on the phone. So, uh, you know, we got to the point where it was like that. So we do this show at Paisley Park. I said, you know what, I need the money up front, <clears throat> 100%. He sent it. I was like, okay, he's serious. So we get there. It's all in the book, but we get there and uh, we're doing the show. I'm just giving some tidbits so you right. don't get excited it's about it. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so um, we get there, we do the show, and he always loved our show because he was instrumental in putting all that together. He was dancing, he was partying, um, you know, he was he was just going off. And then um, so we come off stage and uh, walking down this dark, dark corridor in Paisley Park. You couldn't see much, but. I just heard a hand clap, and I saw him walking in a silhouette in Prince form in front of me, and he's like, bravo, bravo. And so um, we talked a little bit in the cafeteria. I was on my way out, and the dude gave me a hug, and he said, I love you. He never talked like that to me before, you know, so that was weird for me. So I was like, okay. So I, I said, I love you, man. So uh, I walked away from that feeling like, what was that? And two months later, he passed away. Wow. So that's my favorite part, even though it's uh it's Downtown. a heavy part, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. Wow. But I, I think sometimes yeah. people tell you without telling you. That's all I'm saying. I'm like, did he know something? You know? Is it difficult now for you to watch footage of you guys back in the day during your heyday or <laughs> even some of the new stuff? I'm good now. Yeah. I went through a phase, you know, where it was tough, but you know, I'm good. It's all it's all good, you know. You know, yeah. one thing I'll take away that, that I never got to tell some people like that, like Bernie, I didn't get to say yeah. I love because I thought I would see him again. Yeah, that is a dope moment when yeah. somebody breaks who they are, and you, it, yeah. it's just two cats who love each other. Yeah, and regardless of how um, the pattern has usually been, they say I love you, and I, I think that's a dope thing to leave with. It was. That's 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 why that's my favorite part of the book. You know, it totally caught me. I was like, you know. <laughs> Who is this? And a <laughs> baby too, right? <laughs> Up front, hundred percent. 